Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality, and in this video we're going to learn about a quick win known as the repeat each option. So there's this option offered by Playwright that allows us to feel more confident in the quality of our tests, and this is by executing the same test multiple times that then gives us that confidence that, you know, we have a stable, reliable, newly created test. What you can see on the screen right now is an example of a basic test. I'm using the dot only annotation so I make sure this is the only test that runs. And I'm going to go to the Playwright web page and I'm just going to expect the title to have the text of Playwright. Now as an example, before I want to create a pull request for my team members to view the work and merge everything into the master branch, I need that confidence that the test I've just created is stable and not flaky. And this is where this repeat option is going to come in. Now, I could run the test multiple times by manually saying execute, execute, execute. However, this option will allow us to say, I want to execute tests this amount of times. Let's jump right into it. Simply, in the command line in your terminal, you want to say npx playwright test. And then you want to add the option of repeat dash repeat dash each and then however many times you want it to repeat so in my example I'm going to say I want to run it three times and that'll give me confidence so if I click enter on this you can see here it's running three tests using two workers it's the exact same test you can see from the example spec and then it's on uh, line three and it's running that so that passed that passed and then I'll run one more time and we'll just wait for that to pass now. My machine is very slow. So there we are, we've got the three passed, but it's all that test. So I'm confident that that test is working as expected. What you might have noticed as well, it was running using two workers. Uh, so you can control this from your config file. So if I change this to one, you'd see that it ran the three tests um, using one worker, or you can have multiple. So we can test for those kind of parallelization um, parts as well. Now, it's not only limited to a single test as well. So if you had multiple tests, so let's just rename this to two. What we're going to see now is it's going to say it's running six tests using the two workers because it's executing both of these tests the amount of times that I've specified in my option. In this case, it's three down here. So if I click Enter, there we are, we've got the six tests using two workers, and now it's running these two tests in parallel, so it's also checking for kind of any parallelization issues we might have as well. So it's really handy using this command, and I definitely would say, you know, once these are passing multiple times, you have a lot more confidence. So that was the quick win. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.